Hi everybody, welcome to West Coast Supercars and Classics. Guess who I'm with today? I'm back with uh, Jamie, who uh, I did a couple of episodes on with your friend, uh, Jamie and Bob. Bob, yeah. Uh, we, did, we did a couple tongue-in-cheek episodes with your excellent adventures a few months back. Well, guess what? I just bumped into him at a Euro car meet here, and he's got the uh, P1800 that we saw in that episode, and he's finished it. Yeah. So, uh, congratulations. Yeah, no, thank you. It's uh, uh, an 1800S, not a P1800. Oh, sorry, 1800S. 1800S, yeah. Spoke, and so. completed it probably last fall. And, uh, uh, you know, very, very pleased. Uh, turned out very well. Uh, yep. A lot of time, a lot of effort. Uh, yep. A lot of people helped out, but it's uh, we're very pleased. It doesn't get out as much as it should, but... Uh, Tell me about uh, how the project went and uh, how well, the long car, it took to complete. I'll give you... you well, to it? sure. The, well, the brief... The recap is that uh, the car was uh, uh, identified to me at uh, this event uh, a couple of years ago. A guy said that he walks his dog and he goes by a house uh, just off Dallas Road, sees the, uh, seen this car in the parking lot forever. Uh, so Bob and I went over to visit this uh, the owner and a woman had said that her husband had passed away recently. Uh, and the car just sat there. A lot of people had looked at it, but it was pretty far gone. And we, um, we so we came back the next day, and uh, she said, "Look, as long as you promise not to sell the car for parts, you can have it." And uh, and, and this is the this is the this is what happens is you get these cars for free or close to free. Thirty or twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars later, uh, you know the, this is what you end up with. But these cars are valuable, and they. Uh, Hold their value really well. The prices are increasing uh, uh, pretty high at the moment. So some have sold at auction for, oh, you know, seventy, eighty thousand bucks. The nice oh. ones, the real nice ones. Yeah, uh, it looks like a beautiful car. I'm going to have a look around it and uh, just I'll give you guys a good overview of the car uh, while sure. he's talking, anyways. Yeah. And so yeah. um, in 1964, uh, five was the uh, last of these uh, bull, what are called the bullhorn bumpers, where they curve up at the front. Uh, sorry, cowhorn bumpers. Cowhorn bumpers. Yeah, they okay. kind of curve up at the front. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, unique. Each car's got different. Some years the tail light uh, covers were clear. Uh, some were all amber. Uh, that, that, these are correct for the year. The '64. That, now that's uh, this is a turn turn indicator. Yeah, this, uh, this is the turn uh, turn signal park lights here. Yeah. So okay. so and some of them were standard. colored. You said tail lights. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you, yeah uh, you're um, talking about some of these were clear and some of them yeah, were some amber. Some were clear. Some were amber. Okay. And as uh, one year '64 were the hubcaps. Uh, the ones with the painted V were unique to one, I think just the one year, could have been two, but certainly in 64, so these were rare. And when the car was sitting, first thing we all noticed were the, the beauty ring rims and the hubcaps were all intact. One hubcap was under the back seat. Oh my gosh. Okay. Chrome trim was, this stuff is heavy chrome trim, not, in later years it became kind of a thin aluminum, uh, uh, brushed aluminum almost. Heavy duty, this heavy duty uh, air intake here, uh, really heavy duty, uh, and then the, the, it, with the chrome, you can see it's uh, it's, it's pitted in spots. So uh, you know, somewhere down the road, this could all be removed and rechrome. But I wanted a right. little originality to it. Right. right. It's an 1800s. 1800s, yeah. Okay. We'll finish the outside if you want. Yeah. And same thing. The uh, it, I sold a car, uh, a 68 version of this car to a German buyer and he sent me an email and when the cars go to Europe, they have to change the red uh, taillight lenses, have to, there have to be some amber in them. Interesting, um, even yeah. on a vintage car. Yeah, even on the old cars. And uh, the tires that were on the car were unacceptable to, to when he had it inspected, so he had to buy new, new, uh, uh, new boots for it. Um, so very original. I mean, a, a real collector would redo the, the the mat and redo some of the bits and pieces. But this is uh, we everything was just super cleaned and uh, put all back together. Cover. That's the original cover that came with it. Uh, the spare tire cover. Hard to find nowadays. Right. So you're driving this car. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of yeah, fun. Yeah. That's a smart. Yeah, that's a, a smart thing. I like that. No sense doing them in, unless you, you know, unless you can. Uh, unless you can enjoy, that's half the enjoyment. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, this has been fun. Uh, uh, some bits and pieces need to be fixed. Some of the wiring, um, you know, some of the looms I've got to fix up. Uh, 
uh, windshields delaminated in a couple of spots, but I may that may end up in the hands of another owner down the road a ways, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's a, just an absolute gas to drive. Lots of fun.